This is part two of the three video series on lipid and lipoprotein processing. Let's talk about chylomicrons and what happens to them after they reach the blood. Lipoproteins play an essential role in lipid processing and distribution. The key shown here identifies the components that make up lipoproteins. And this graph compares the diameter and density of different lipoproteins. When ranking lipoproteins from largest to smallest, the chylomicron is first, followed by the chylomicron remnant, VLDL, IDL, LDL, and lastly, the smallest lipoprotein, HDL. Although HDL is the smallest, it is the most dense lipoprotein, while the chylomicron is the least dense. Once in the blood, the chylomicron binds to two additional liver proteins called ApoE and ApoC2. The chylomicron now has a total of three apoproteins bound to it. On the surface of many body cells, and especially skeletal myocytes and adipocytes, there are enzymes known as lipoprotein lipase, or LPL. ApoC2 on the chylomicron allows the chylomicron to recognize LPL and bind to it. LPL hydrolyzes the triglycerides from the chylomicron into free fatty acids and glycerol that can now cross over the plasma membrane. Once inside the cell, the fatty acids and glycerol can be reassembled into triglycerides and stored or be used by the cell for energy. After removal of triglycerides, the chylomicron becomes a chylomicron remnant. Hepatocytes contain scavenger receptors designed to attach to ApoE. ApoE on the chylomicron remnant binds to the scavenger receptor on the liver and allows the chylomicron remnant to return to the liver. The chylomicron remnant is then taken into the liver and disassembled. The components that made up the chylomicron remnant will serve as the core ingredients for a new lipoprotein. The phospholipids, leftover triglycerides, and cholesterol are all combined to make a lipoprotein known as VLDL. The liver then attaches the protein ApoB100 to it. VLDL then leaves the liver and goes into the blood where ApoE and ApoC2 released from the liver attach to it. The VLDL uses ApoC2 to bind to a body cell that has LPL. As with triglycerides from chylomicrons, the LPL will hydrolyze triglycerides from VLDLs into fatty acids and glycerol that can be used by the cells for energy or for storage. Removal of triglycerides from VLDL results in the production of intermediate density lipoprotein, or IDL. The IDL travels to the liver where it will bind to the liver using ApoE. About 50% of the IDL enters the liver by way of endocytosis and is broken down. The other 50% of IDL is acted upon by hepatic lipase, which removes triglycerides to become LDL. LDL stands for low-density lipoprotein, an LDL is mostly cholesterol and contains only ApoB100. Because LDL doesn't have ApoE, it lasts longer in the blood than other lipoproteins. Here's a summary slide of the processes we discussed in part one and part two. Please pause the video for review. Please join us for part three of this video series to see what happens next to the LDL. Thanks for watching.